Oh my god, I don't know what is wrong with me because I left you guys on the counter. Anyway, we're heading out right now. And we are inside the car now. Jeez Louise, it's already pretty warm. It's like almost 10. It's 85 degrees. Um, I think it's going to be in the 90s again today. But today we're going to, um, it's going to be like an event at the Goodwill. I don't exactly know what it is. They didn't really give too many specifications about what was happening. But um, we're gonna, I'm going to go over there today. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to film in like the actual place. But I'll definitely tell you guys about it afterwards. And it's going to be so much fun. And I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. Um, but today's uh, handbag squad. Look at okay, I couldn't resist. I had to bring this little guy along. Okay, let me, okay. So, I totally messed up on the handle right there because, <sighs> me being me, I was just like really excited about the bag and like I really wanted to work on the other side. Um, and then the box that I was working on, it was plastic. Like, they had like plastic lays or something. And before it dried completely, I had it on the back. I don't know, is it even showing? There it is. The paint stuck to the plastic and some of it got ripped off, but I'm just like, you know what, it's okay. Like, I'll just redo it again later, so it's totally fine, but, um, and it's on the back. But otherwise, like, the bag is looking so fantastic, I'm so excited. Um, so, <sighs> yes. I'm just really happy, you guys. Today is such a great day. Um, I spent the morning, uh, I brought the kids to school, spent the morning with my mom and my aunt, just like talking and catching up, and it was just so nice talking to her, and she's just an amazing lady, and she lives over on the East Coast, and she's just telling us all about it, telling me about my cousins and all that stuff, catching up, so that was really fun. Um, and then, right now, we're gonna head out, and then we're also gonna do a little bit of thrifting today, so I'm super duper excited, so let's go! All right, you guys, we just got to our first stop. Um, Sorry the sun is like right here, but um, I'm super excited. Let's go inside the Goodwill and it's gonna be so much fun. All right, you guys, here's the store. I'm super excited to go inside. Oh, so excited. Oh, I already can see some cool baskets in the window. Man. All right, you guys, there wasn't really anything in the handbags. So let's look at the home decor stuff now. Okay, so one of my favorite things is a good vase. A good planter. Vases and planters make a huge 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 difference and currently I'm rocking the blue and white inside the house that's my favorite color combination like ever and I'm finally like I haven't done it in the house at all can you believe that so like now's the time for my blue and white home de oh my gosh time out though is this like are you serious it is beautiful it is lettuce. Uh, I see like, is that like a crack or is that like, oh no, it's not. <gasps> I'm taking this home with me. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh, hot dog. I'm so excited. I'm just making a quick stop through the home decor stuff, like for Halloween. Home decor to see if I can find anything cool. Ooh, they're bringing out a cart. What is this? A little cherub? <laughs> okay, there wasn't really anything in the cart, so I'm just looking for the rest of the decor. I really need to get a cart though, so I can put this guy in there. You know, I forgot to look at this when I walked by earlier, and it looks like a crate and barrel piece. And it is crate and barrel. It's only $6? Stop. This piece is gorgeous. Should I get it for the backyard? Or for the backyard, for the house in general? I don't know. I'm actually just gonna hold on to it though. All right, you guys got my cart. So far, all green things. How exciting is that though? Do I feel a color story going on? Green? Oh, we still have my friends here, the cow and the chicken. That's kind of cool, but... Flower. Oh, it's missing the top. This is a Target piece. They have a ton of those golf awards. There was like a couple more on the other side. Uh, wow, there's like not a lot in the store right now. It's very picked over, but you know what? We're gonna keep looking and we're gonna find some awesome stuff. Oh my gosh, she is fabulous. She's like Chiquitita Banana or whatever. 
Storyteller art, $3.99. All right, let's look through the plate. Ooh. An S plate? Grace. That's cute. Serving platter is cool with the handles. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, Christmas shoes, oh, Christmas shoes. <laughs> By Rosanna, there's like a couple of them. Oh, I think this is a pottery barn. Bull Tony, yep. I think that's actually been here for a while. These are plastic. Guys, look at what this says. Beside every great woman is a great purse. Ah! You guys, look how pretty this little plate is. Are there any more pretty little plates like this? By Maxwell and Williams. Fine Bone China from 2007. Are there more 2007 plates like that? Martha Stewart plates. Oh no, I don't think there are any more. Uh, that was a cute plate. For Mother Stewart. Oh, but it's not the same size. Okay. Check out these pans. They're North Face. They're like facing out into the plate section. These are those ones that you can cut off, like, not cut, but you unzip them and then they become shorts. Oh my gosh, these are so awesome. <laughs> this vase is gorgeous. There's like that was glitter in it. Right, it was 50 bucks at home, guys. That's what it says underneath. This basket is really nice, too. Ceramic basket from Grace's Pantry. $10. All right, so we are in, like, the miscellaneous kitchen section. They have, like, plate or like platters, um, tea kettles, other, like, miscellaneous, like, dining things. <laughs> Let's look at the mugs. Do you think there'll be any anthropology mugs today? I'm always looking for anthropology. Okay, so the reason why I'm always um, looking for like certain brands is because um, a lot of the time, like some of the vintage stuff, I don't know if you guys remember like back in the day, like when I was younger, I remember my mom like went crazy because supposedly all these things that came from like China or whatever um, had like lots of like lead content and it was poisoning people, especially like in plates and stuff. So that's why I'm always like wary about like plates. So I'm always like looking to see where they're made um, and what brand they are. So to be safe, I stick with what I know. Pottery Barn, Williams, Sonoma, Crane, Barrel. Uh, oh my gosh. Stop it. I think I'm crying. <gasps> Is that a chip? Can I for? Oh no, it has too many. Man, I just got really excited. It looks pretty good from the top, though. Oh, crikey. You guys, lettuce plates and stuff are like my weakness. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I like stick to certain brands and stuff that I know, so. But I do like venture out, you know? This internet is definitely your friend. You can definitely look up things as well, just to make sure, and whatnot, so forth, etc. So, I always recommend that as well. I thought this was Lake Crusade at first, but it's not. It says like Made in China on the bottom, $14.99. Why is this literally the cutest sweater? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! All right, you guys, we're going to look through the furniture really quick. Look at this pillow, this is a nice pillow. A quick tip too, if you're like trying to decide on what colors to use in a space, pick one thing that you really, really love. Like if you pick this pillow, you can go off colors in here. So this can be the thing that ties everything in. So you can do the yellow, you can do the blue, you can do light blue, the orange, all that stuff. So that's always, ooh, look at this. Oh, a hammock, I thought it was a carpet. Oh, look at this giant floral carpet. Do you see the floral design in it? 
That is nice. I think I have that carpet. It's like sitting in the garage. Oh, this plant stand is pretty nice. Very sturdy. Black guy's ten dollars. I kind of like it. Uh, Rodeo, RodeoHome.com. This is a very nice pillow. Guys, so the Rodeo Home pillows are actually very expensive. I wish there was more than one. Maybe there's another one somewhere. If there is, I would love to get them. I just wish it was blue. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? $14.99. <laughs> Why is everything that I see that I like like green right now? This is nice too. This is a Target pillow. This one is ten doll hairs. Ooh, black and white. So I just found these black and white pillows. I kind of love them and I kind of have to get them. You guys, look how cute this pillow is. It has little thingies that stick out. I'm at rug. I don't know why I said pillow. I'm always looking through the box furniture to see if I can find something cool hidden inside one of them. But so far, I haven't found any. Oh, what is this? This is very soft and fluffy. Oh my gosh. Madison something. Okay, Madison Park has Target. It's $40. Oh my gosh, it's so soft though, but I have something like that already, so. Guys, I found the most beautiful, like, mirrored box. I don't know if it's from Target, it might be, but there's no price on it. Hi, Ariana, I just saw you and your, I don't know if it was your husband or significant other. I just wanted to say hi, because because he told me to give you a shout out, and I wanted to give you one too. It was nice to be in you, even if it was just for a second inside the car. But, just got to the car. Um, I didn't really get too much stuff, but we're gonna. This is gonna be a continuing kind of like journey, so we're gonna go look for some more stuff. So let's head over to another store. All right, you guys, we are at my local Goodwill now, and I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. I totally forgot that today is a double color sale day because Labor Day weekend is upon us, and today on dollar on dollar color sale day, they're doing two colors instead of one. So let's go inside and check it out. Grabbing a cart already. Because who knows if I'll be able to grab another one later on. Oh, this is cute. H&M. You guys, I found this really pretty free people dress. Oops, it's like stuck onto this other dress. I also found this really pretty Abercrombie and Fitch one. It's lace. $8.49. I don't know if I'm going to get all these dresses, but... We'll think about it. I'll send photos to my sister. This is really nice. It's like soft, but I don't know what it is. Papaya. Jessica H. Just found this Anthropoly dress. I literally saw the price on it. Alright, I have the, a rather large assortment of clothing that I just found on one rack. And I'm gonna go over them in a little bit. Oh, this is a Read by Read crack off bag. You know, Reed Krakow, I think he was the one that started Coach. Then he left, he sold it, started his own company. Reed. Yeah, I think these are his, like the, the pleather bags. So, I think I want to say no to that one. Let's see what else we can find. There's literally nothing left. They took all the bags. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Kathy Von Vieland. I was like, what is this? Look through the, let's look through these clothes really quick. All right, now we're gonna look through the shoes. Los zapatos. <laughs> you know, zapatos is the same in Tagalog and Spanish. It means shoes in both languages. Seven ninety one. Those Thomas the Train boots. Oh, she's definitely haunted. 
That is actually a really cute, like, vintage looking bench. It's kind of falling apart, but you just need to screw it down a little bit. This duck is still here. It's so cute. Oops. These are kind of interesting. <laughs> like prawn. That glass egg is kind of interesting. There's a little family of elephants right here. Looking very elephanty. Oh, that's that Mickey Mouse cookie jar from last time with a broken ear. Oh my gosh, this is like so like 80s kind of looking. 90s. I just want to pick something up and it be Tiffany's. That would be the dream. I still have yet to find any Tiffany's glassware. So... Maybe one day. Oh my gosh, watermelon teapots. <laughs> do you guys see that mug? Mom is just a wow upside down. So true. But I'm looking through the mugs really quickly. Not spotting anything yet. Oh my gosh, a Humpty Dumpty cookie jar. This is so cool. The home collection. This is super cute. <laughs> this like leather sofa set is major. Ooh, Coca-Cola. <coughs> this mirror is kind of cool. Okay, I don't know where this mirror came from, but the back of it is all the way. I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> um, these are pretty cool. These are prints. There's like a tiger and a lion. This boat painting is super cool. Oops. All right, back to this. I think it's actually painted. Andre. Is it? I can't tell. No, it's printed. Andre Orminas. This ottoman bench thing is pretty fierce. It's $45. I don't know why I like just like the knobs on that thing. Those are really nice. I found another top. This is a Liberty Garden from Anthropology. That's two anthropology pieces. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> Let's see what else I can find on this rack. I didn't really find anything else in the rest of the store. So, I'm just looking through the racks really quick one more time and then we're gonna head out. So there's one anthropology piece, there's usually another. Here's another one. I think it's Lily's Closet. Kinda cute. You guys, I'm so bummed out. There's like moth holes or whatever inside this anthropology dress. So sad, it's like literally new with tags. Let's, let's go home now. Hey guys, okay, so I am at home now and I wanted to sit down here and chat with you guys about how awesome today was. I met some amazing people and I learned even more about the Goodwill and all the awesome things that they do for the community. It's so amazing what they do. And I know that the Goodwill does have some kind of like I don't, kind of, I, I don't know if the right, the right word would be like, they have like a kind of like a stigma or like, um, kind of like they've gotten some negative press for things that I don't think people necessarily completely understand. Like I know there's that thing with like the CEO, the Goodwill, da da da, gets $5 million a year, or that's like, but the, the way it works, um, as it was explained to me, was that there's actually not like a CEO of like the whole Goodwill, like there's different regions of Goodwills and um, the board of directors votes actually on the amount 
of like the salary that the CEO of each region gets. So, and they make it like in conjunction, like they take all the, the different factors into account, like the size, the how many stores each region has, all the things that they do, and da 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 da, and all that kind of stuff. So, I feel like. Uh, sometimes I feel like um, us as people are too quick to judge and just kind of form some sort of like opinion in our mind based off of a small amount of information that was given to us and yeah I'm like and I'm like you guys like honestly I'm not like, trying to say anything negative against anyone or anything I'm just trying to like relay the information that I received today and at least the Orange County Goodwill does so much good. Only, um, I think it's 92 or 93 percent of every dollar. So 93, I think it's 92 cents of every dollar that the Goodwill makes goes towards, like, goes back to the community. And the eight cents goes to paying the rent for each of the stores, paying the employees and all that stuff. So actually not a very, like a lot of money goes back into the community. And what's really great too about um, the Orange County Goodwill is that they actually have an amazing veterans facility and help facilitate help for any veteran from like the army or Navy, Marines, or anything like that that need and require assistance, they will help. And the facility is huge. That's where um, our event was located today, is in that facility, which also houses the amazing, amazing distribution center. Let me tell you, this place was like, like I wanted to, like, okay, it was like the adult version for myself of like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I felt like I just wanted to look everywhere, go, like, look through everything, see everything, go, like, it was, I was mind-boggling how amazing the inside was. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film. I asked, I did ask ahead of time whether or not we were allowed to film. They said no, unfortunately, just because it has, like, privacy reasons and all that stuff of all the people that work there. So, unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film inside, but I can tell you guys all about it. It was amazing. There were pallets and pallets full of donations, and it was just crazy so um i don't know i just want to tell you guys everything that i learned but i don't even know if you guys really care about it but um it's it's just so cool like they actually have a really amazing facility it's like a gym also for people that are disabled and what's really cool is that um they help people that necessarily like People that were wounded, people that were hurt, people that are paraplegic, quadriplegic, all that stuff, they are able to go to this gym, use it free of charge, and everything is accessible to them. Uh, it's like, when you go to the regular gym, they have handicap accessible areas, there's handicap restrooms and all that stuff, but none of the equipment is usable. But he, at, in their facility for the Goodwill that they put for the community, literally, all the equipment is handicap accessible to anyone and it's like it's amazing the story is that eric um he's the head of um like the marketing and all that stuff for the orange county goodwill it was like it, like literally i was gonna cry like it was amazing the stories that he told were just like really heart-wrenching and it was just really cool to hear all the really great stuff that they're doing for the community so I am very, very proud to be part of the OC Goodwill family now, and it's just so cool. It's so much fun, and I met some amazing people. I'm going to have them all, like, I wish I could remember all their names off the top of my head right now, but I'm going to have, like, I'm going to have every, like, everyone's names linked. Um, I'll try to have them pop up if I can remember, and um, have them down linked down in the description box as well. And when you see this video, they're all also going to be in my Insta stories as well on Instagram. So definitely check them out. Tell them Hadrian sent you and that they, they are all amazing. They're like thrifters. Um, they, everyone like kind of like is in the thrifting world um, and like has touched on the realm of thrifting at least. There's um, stylists, clothing stylists, fashion bloggers, um, decorators, designers, and all that stuff. So it was really nice meeting everyone. And if any of you guys are watching this... It was so nice meeting all of you. You guys are so, so amazing. And I, I I just feel so lucky to have been able to meet you guys because I, I don't know. 
as outgoing and personable as I may seem on like like with you guys like if when I meet people that I've never met before in real life I just I, I don't know I kind of like gotta go into myself and I get kind of shy you know but I like you know I force myself out of it because you don't like I don't want to be like that shy person that doesn't want to talk to anyone you know even though like I am like in my heart I'll always be like that little shy boy that was scared of giving the presentation in class honestly so but it was just an amazing opportunity and I cannot wait to share with you guys what I'm doing with the Goodwill and it's actually going to be very soon so it's actually within the next two weeks you guys will be seeing um, what it is that I'm doing with them and I just don't want to talk about it yet because uh, I just want to have everything kind of done and set and everything else um, and it's, it's actually really exciting there's actually going to be um, two things um, ah, I don't want to give away too much so uh, but you guys like I, once I, I just need to figure out like some more stuff and then I'll for sure you guys will find out exactly what it is but just know that it's something really exciting and really really fun and I hope that a lot of you guys no, nah, no, nah, that's it that's all I'm gonna say ah, I'm so excited okay um, but yeah so it was just such an awesome opportunity honestly if you guys could see all that amazing stuff okay let me uh, let me ask, actually answer some questions that I know a lot of you guys are gonna are wondering at home and that I wondered myself as um, like an avid thrifter at the Goodwill um, at least in the Orange County Goodwills okay so one of the biggest questions like that pe people always ask me are how come our Goodwill doesn't carry the new like the Target stuff that I always show you guys in videos and that is because well every Goodwill like uh, okay so the Goodwills are broken up into regions the Orange County Goodwill I believe is comprised of 25 different stores and then the LA County area is um, made up of I believe like 80 plus stores so the LA County area stores do not carry the new like the Goodwill the Goodwill the Target stuff at all um, and the OC Goodwill stores do and I know I have heard from other people in other states that their Goodwills also carry um, the Target items as well so what it is is that um, I don't know if like, anyone really knows well I know I'm sure some of you guys do that um, Target they have um, they they have like a program too where they give back to the community kind of or like something like that this is what I from what I understand um, they they do like they have like a program where they give back to the community and one of them is that they do um, it's called salvage so items that were maybe um, like in boxes or whatever that or like maybe the boxes were slightly damaged or whatever but the contents were perfectly fine um, floor samples things that were returned stuff like that um, they all go into salvage so. Um, what the Goodwill does is they can actually bid on these items and they're like in huge pallets and they can bid on these items and um, those are the items that go into the stores so and actually all Goodwills and I think anyone actually like even if you wanted to do this you guys could I just don't know exactly like the <laughs> the exact way to get to it's all done like online or something so I don't know the exact website or anything you know really talk about that and like but um, I'm sure you guys can find out if you really wanted uh, but that's how they get those items and that is accessible to any Goodwill at all but um, it really depends on the region and what they need as far as um, what they can like kind of like afford to do um, and what people in their community need or want so there's just like lots of different factors and the Orange County Goodwills they do carry the Target stuff and then like like literally like Orange County and LA County like they touch and like you could go to one store Orange County Goodwill uh, they have the Target stuff right next door maybe like 10 minutes down the street in another county doesn't have it so um, that's kind of like the answer for that and the other question that people ask is or that I really wanted to know as well is um, And this is going to be crazy because th this is something that people have asked um, me a lot and I always like wondered exactly what it was but okay so people ask all the time um, like or say all the time also that their goodwills never get anything da 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 um, and whether or not you have to go to like a certain area 
like a more affluent area or something to get um, items to purchase and this isn't for I don't know if this is for every Goodwill but I know it's for certain regions they, they do the same thing as the Orange County Goodwill does and the answer is um a, most of the items that are donated to the stores um with the exception of some things like like some like maybe furniture or um like home accessories and stuff like that but almost all for uh, all clothing actually gets taken from the stores get sent to the distribution center where everything kind of like they go through everything um, they go through the clothes to make sure that they are like sellable and all that stuff and then they um, then they get sorted out into like shirts long sleeves jackets pants shorts skirts short skirts long skirts da 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 and all that stuff and then each of the stores has like an amount like oh like we need 20 we need 50 pairs of pants and then like they'll get 50 pairs of pants and set it over so um everything is kind of just like in the distribution center and everything just gets like mixed up there so not like that's how, like so so it's not really region specific Ooh. region specific like or like the amount of money in each community like um like more affluent areas or whatever uh that doesn't really dictate the kind of, like the kind of stuff that is inside the stores if that makes sense because everything kind of gets sent from the distribution center and then gets sent out though there are times um when they will put out items that the store receives um with like if they're backed up they have too much stuff or they're like still waiting for the trucks to come and da da da, da. so then then like they they have the right to just like put out whatever they want also but for the most part, most of the items that get donated to the Goodwills will go to the distribution center, get sorted out, and then we'll go back to the stores and then those items will go on the floor. So, whew, yeah. <laughs> I hope that made sense. I, I don't even know. I'm just like, dumb. I'm just like, Bleh. but um, yeah, it was just really cool, really fun experience. And I wish you guys could have seen it because it was truly amazing inside of there. And what's really cool too is, um, Nothing goes wasted. Um, the clothing that they cannot resell um, in the stores, they get like bundled up. And there's like this really cool machine that like squishes everything together. It's almost like a trash compactor, but a clothing compactor. And then they sell it to like um, they sell it to the government to use to like make the fibers and money. They sell it to toy stores where they will like clean the fabrics and then shred them and turn them into stuffing for toys. Um, and like there's even like this cool like um, there's like this artist that does like sculptures out of clothing and if you guys have ever seen like the pictures of um, if you don't know if you've heard of Antelope Canyon I think it's in Arizona and if you haven't heard about it or seen it or maybe it's in Nevada Antelope Canyon look if you look at like if you guys will probably you guys probably have heard of it because it's like one of the most photographed places in the world and it's gorgeous but um, they make like landscapes with the clothing and it's just really cool. They had uh, an exhibition um, like not like somewhere in Orange County for it and it was just like I have to look it up. I haven't seen the photos yet but I'm really excited to look it up and see what it looks like because I heard it was really amazing. Um, but yeah, so it's just so cool what they do over there and just going being able to see behind the scenes of all that stuff is just truly really cool it's such a cool experience um but yeah so before this video drags on anymore i'm gonna end the video here um i hope you guys enjoyed it and <laughs> i'm sorry for the people that i tricked about like moving out like i just thought it was a funny title and i felt like i was moving out because I just had like all this stuff and I was literally going up the stairs so I apologize but like I, and you, I know you guys are all like completely understand you guys are so funny though like I feel like um, some of you guys just messaged or commented before you saw the video and then after you saw it you're like oh okay Hadrian's crazy he's just going upstairs but he has like 50 bags like who does that like I'm literally still in the same house um but with that being said let us do some of our thrift shout outs and questions and all that of the day and also if you guys have any questions about the goodwill or anything leave them down below and I might be able to answer I don't know um, we'll see and then I will surely answer them in the next video just because I feel like after the, today I don't know it's weird like I feel like such a connection 
towards the goodwill and I really want to be an advocate for all the really like all the really good stuff that they do for the community and yeah I can only speak on behalf like not even speak on behalf I can only like speak of, uh, of like what I know and what I experienced and like the people there like that were working there like they really truly help people that have like so many like boundaries with being able to work um, in normal places like whether it be like some like sort of like cognitive thing or physical um, maybe it's like a mom or whatever that hasn't worked in like 20 30 years because she was raising her children now she's trying to get back out there and everything's so different or like people with language barriers and all that stuff so I just I don't know I just think it's really really cool and getting to see and meet some of the people that were actually there and working it was just so awesome and everyone was so friendly everyone said hi and I was just like oh my gosh this is so cute like I was like ah oh, can I like give you a hug this is so awesome like and these are the people too that like that like you see all the people in the stores, but the people in the distribution center, it's just like really cool because these are the people like they literally touch everything in the store and like place them in like a bin or like whatever, you know, and like they're just putting all this like energy out there and it's just like really, really cool. And um, I don't know, I'm just getting like too excited, like Hadrian to like calm down, right? I'm sorry. I just got really excited. Um, <laughs> we have a, a message here from Anne-Marie Walker. Hi, Anne-Marie. You're... We're like friends, honestly. Like, I feel like we're like BFFs because you always comment and talk, and I love it. Um, and she says, Love the ginger jar, nice addition to your collection. Yes, I'm so excited for that ginger jar, and I am like, I'm just like looking for more. I really want to hopefully, maybe someday, find if I'm lucky enough, a large ginger jar that would just set me over the top. That would be so exciting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Elisa Goldman. So the title of the vlog means you are moving out of your room for a few days, not the house? Question <laughs> mark. Yeah. <laughs> and you commented too. I we yeah on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Elisa, you're so funny. If Elisa is so awesome, she is like, yeah, I love you so much. We have some fun chats, don't we, Elisa? <laughs> um, we have BB Styles here, and they say. Hi, Hadrian, you inspire me, and I went thrifting at the Salvation Army and found three handbags for $3.99 each. Tori Birch, Disney Dooney & Burke, and Kate Spade. Also, great job on cleaning the garage. Keep the video coming. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. First of all, congratulations on all those finds. Secondly, I will definitely keep those videos coming because I'm just like, whew. I'm like, you know what? I've been on such a roll with these videos, and I didn't think I would be able to do one video day let alone two but honestly it's just kind of like become like a thing and like the day that i missed like a video oh my gosh like i felt like i was empty inside like honestly i feel like i really it's just like part of my like you guys are just like such a huge part of my life and making these videos are so much fun for me and i hope you guys are enjoying them as much as i enjoy making them because i honestly really feel like you guys are like my family you guys are my friends and we just have some fun chats honestly oh but also Kate's, like, Tory Burch, Kate Spade, and Dooney and Burke, especially the Disney Dooney and Burke is actually very expensive. Like, Dooney and Burke is actually already really expensive, but the Disney Dooney and Burke, Dooney and Burke I feel like is, like, even more expensive because you're adding the Disney element to it, and that's just, like, a whole nother ball game. so, like, it, it just, like, pops, like, it makes the price point go up a little bit more. Um, but that is amazing, Dooney and Burke each. I never find, every time I've gone to the Salvation Army, and I, like, I know that once I start going there more, I will find more, but honestly, there's like the closest Salvation Army to me is like pretty far, and there's like only like a one. And then the next one is like even further. So it's just not like feasible to go to the Salvation Army for me too much. So that's usually why I don't know, I don't necessarily go too often, though I have gone. I think I brought you guys in there with me a couple times. So um, yeah. Uh. Elisa says, Hadrian, I've always wondered why you called those bags Donna Buckman if it's spelled Dana. <laughs> that would be pronounced Dana. I don't know why you pronounced it Donna. The, I think it's because I had an aunt Donna, like my mom's friend. Her name was Donna, but it was spelled Dana, like D-A-N-A, -A, but we always pronounced it Donna so then like it just stuck with me and the whole pronunciation thing is like really different too when you have like 
different languages and then they're pronounced different ways so that's yeah i can't pronounce anything so i'm gonna continue pronouncing probably everything wrong and even though you told me that it's like dana i'm gonna keep saying donna i just know it like i'm gonna try but like every time someone corrects me i still kind of like say it how i've been saying it because then i get confused and it's just like a whole thing so um <laughs> That's, yeah. So, Elisa, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard. But I am gonna remember Hedwig. Hedwig. Because wigs go on your head. Yeah? I remember that. Yes. I think that was Grandma Gaga that said that. Yes. Okay. Let me know if I'm right. Uh, okay. So, our next person here um, is Renee Goforth. Hi, Hadrian and Thrift Squad. Hope you have a lovely visit with your aunt. I'm sure you will. I'm so excited right now I could explode. I've been so jelly of your Target finds and your Goodwills lately that I had to check my Target out since our Goodwills don't carry new Target merchandise. Remember that outdoor black sete your Goodwill had? I found the two black matching chairs for it for only $41.70 each after all discounts. Not as good as you could get them at your Goodwill probably, but I'm over the moon ecstatic right now. See you for tomorrow. <gasps> Congratulations! That's amazing! I, okay, you know what? What really gets me too is that Target has really amazing sales sometimes. And I don't know like how like you guys find like these amazing like discounts on these things. And I literally follow people's Instagrams that do this. And then they announce like, oh, this is going on sale, da da da. Like, it's like go to the Goodwill, like, or Goodwill, go to Target, and you'll get like you, like, hopefully they'll be marked down already, or they wouldn't be marked down yet, or they should have been marked down yet, and then you can get them at like the discount price, and it's amazing, and da da da. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this sofa for like ten dollars, like not really ten dollars, but you know what I mean. Uh, plus they also have like that one cent thing, or whatever, or like ten cents. I don't know what it is. I forget, but like things get marked down they should have been taken off the shelf but then they miss them and then they literally are like dirt cheap and they do the same thing with the rack like nordstrom rack um like sometimes like things will get marked down so much and they don't get pulled out like they're literally like a scent or something i haven't experienced that yet but one day i hope i will i will i honestly like I, i'm like Persistence honestly is key with anything in life and you like I don't really honestly go there enough to um, probably be able to do these things but like honestly like in my experience persistence really is key so that's what I think it is but um, let's answer or let's have one more comment right here and it's Rosie Alonzo hi Rosie Rosie you are another one you are just a gem Hi, my friend. You've been finding some awesome things. You are so lucky. It's hard work, but tell me what job out there isn't. I have a feeling, Adrian, that you'll be working as a spokesperson for the Goodwill industry. That would be so awesome. I know that one day, real soon, your channel will grow tremendously. Whatever the surprise is, it's due to your hard work. Spread those wings, my friend. God bless you always. I was like, literally, like, I'm like getting goosebumps. That was so sweet of you to say, Rosie. Um, I am just... You know, like, when they say that you should do something that you love and then, like, everything else just follows? Like, honestly, that's kind of, like, what I've been trying to do. And it honestly has just been so amazing and so rewarding. And it's just really cool. Like, I never, um, I never thought that any of this could ever happen. Uh, and everything is just, like, happening. And it's really crazy because it's kind of all just happening at once. And my life has never been so busy, but I've never loved it as much as I do right now. Like, in this moment, I am just, like, so happy. Like, I'm literally, like, shaking. Like, I, I, just thinking about all this stuff. And it's all thanks to you guys. So, again, I thank you all. Like, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, you guys mean the world to me. And I, I honestly, 100% would not be here without you guys. I would, like... Yeah, I don't know. It's I, I can't even imagine my life without you guys. So thank you all so, so much. And with that, I am going to end the video before I talk for another 20 minutes. Uh, you guys know how I get. So I love you guys so much. I'm going to have to... Um, I, I'm going to do the haul video of the stuff that I got today. But I'm going to do like an extra video. So it's just going to kind of go up after this. Just because 
my computer is on the fritz like honestly i just need to get a new one uh i just haven't gotten around to it i've just been so so busy and for some reason like whenever i try to do videos that are like too long after a certain point it just goes crazy and i've already been filming this for 25 minutes so i already feel like i i know the computer's just gonna go nuts um, if I do a haul video like in this segment. So with that being said, don't forget to check that out. I'll have it linked. Don't forget to check out today's thrifting video as well. Oh my gosh, you guys can get three videos today. So um, I'll have those all linked. I love you guys so, so, so much. Do not forget also to check out um, all of my new friends that I met today. I'm so excited for you guys to meet them. And again, tell them Hadrian sent you and that he thinks you're amazing because honestly, everyone that I met today was 100%, 100 million, trillion percent amazing and it's so cool meeting kind of like people that do what you do because i've i have met some people but never like to this like degree and it was just really cool so i'm just really thankful for the goodwill for even putting together this event for us to all get to kind of meet and talk to them and experience all this really cool stuff so um again thank you guys i love you guys so much okay i'm gonna end the video i love you guys so much bye we got a Koji snow cone maker up there. Got some Call of Duty mugs. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much cool stuff right here. What is this? It's like a mister? Oh, it's for soap. 4 Oh, that's kind of cute.